welcome back to my channel. Today I have my monthly favourites for November for you guys. This isn't just nail polish, this is going to be pretty much everything I've been loving over the last couple of months. I guess you can kind of say it's my October, November favourites, I guess. But I'm going to share skincare, makeup, nail polish, and just general favourites that I've been loving. Um, because I wanted to share these things with you. You guys need to know about these things, they're amazing. So yeah, if you guys want to see what I've been loving lately, then just keep watching. The first thing that I have been loving is actually my vlogging camera. This is the Canon Ixus 145. Um, we are going to be doing Vlogmas on my vlog channel. It's the Vlog Addiction. I always link it down below. Um, so if you want to go and follow us there, um, you'll be able to see what we do all through December. But we have been vlogging quite regularly since we got this. It's actually an amazing camera, such good quality. I, I can't fault it to be completely honest with you. And it turns on so fast. Like, are you ready to watch? Bang, like it's ready. So I've actually kind of been loving this and it was pretty inexpensive too. Um, I think I got it for $79. So a great camera if you want to just even start a YouTube channel or vlogging. It's a really great camera if you guys wanted to look into it. The next thing that I have kind of been loving is my Polar FT4 watch. Um, this is a watch, you can use it as an everyday watch, but it also takes your heart rate, works out your calories, and just tells you in general how long you've been working out for. You put a band around your, um, kind of like under your boobies a little bit, and it has a little transmitter that you click on, and then you start this, and it will track the time your heart rate and, and roughly how many calories you've burnt. This is pretty, this is more accurate than the, the equipment at the gym. So it's really great if you like a calorie counter and stuff like that. But I've just been loving this as I'm currently losing weight myself. The next thing I have been loving is actually still wet, but it's my Real Techniques, I think it's the complexion sponge. I've actually got a tear in mine, but I have been loving this. I got this, what, four or five weeks ago off iHerb. And I didn't know that my foundation could apply so well. Like, I used to have cakey foundation, and now this thing is amazing. Um, I've never tried the Beauty Blender, so I can't tell you guys if it's better than that. But I definitely would pick this up. You can buy them at Priceline nowadays, um, but you can get them on iHerb. Yeah, so I got mine off iHerb. Um, I think they're $8 on iHerb, and the postage to me was $4. But they're pretty cheap. I think they're $16 in Priceline, so... Whatever is cheapest for you, but you guys really need to try this out. It's actually kind of amazing. The next thing I have been loving is the Australian Pure Beauty Sensitive Exfoliating Face Scrub. So I found this. This is probably my this is my second bottle um, or tube or whatever. But um, I found this. I get it at my local Woolworths. I don't know if you can get it anywhere else. Um, it is made in Australia, so I don't know if they sell it overseas. But... Um, it's really nice. I have super sensitive skin. If I put a cleanser at all on my skin, it just breaks out. It's just too much chemicals for my skin. Um, so I've always had to use a face scrub. Don't worry, I don't use it every day. Um, I just wash my face normally every other day. So I've been loving this. Um, I will show you a close-up of what it looks like. But it's nice. It's not too harsh. Um, but it is also like you can kind of build it up in an area if you really want to give that area a scrub. Like especially around my nose, I notice that it's great. But I've been loving this. The smell isn't um, really like it just smells like flowers because it is obviously natural stuff but I've been loving this um, it hasn't broken me out at all I am loving this to death the next thing I have I've actually broken the lid too but it is the TND Dickin Dickinson's I think that's how you say it witch hazel toner so I was using just and I think it was a toner by Garnier um, and it wasn't really doing anything like it was supposed to like clear my pores and stuff and I don't think it did any of that to be honest and it was a tiny little bottle for too much money so I tried this I think I saw um Dominique Amois using it um it doesn't actually it has a different smell um I will admit some people probably wouldn't like it it's kind of like I don't know how to explain it it smells like witch hazel um I've been loving this it's actually really great for my breakouts um it's, I only really get breakouts when that time of the month so it really helps I get them on my cheeks and it really helps with drying them out and getting getting rid of them quite quickly so I will recommend this to you guys um, but smell it before you buy it because you might not you might not like the smell the next thing is also from Australian Pure Beauty and it's their sensitive moisturizer um, again I have kind of 
dry skin on my cheeks and my forehead and then kind of oily oily around here um, but I just noticed I wasn't using a moisturizer at all really because I couldn't find a moisturizer that didn't break me out it's the exact same as a cleanser I just constantly broke me out I was constantly had pimples and they were like those ugly horrible sore pimples so I gave this a go I kind of leaped it had been a while since I'd used a moisturizer and I found this and again I am in love it has not broken me out and to be honest after the first use my skin felt like a baby's butt. I, I recommend this. It has got a different sort of smell to it. Um, again, it smells kind of florally um, because of the... It's a kakadu plum and vitamin E. So it's all natural stuff. Again, Australian made. Um, yeah. It, it's got... I like the smell. I, I wouldn't pick it if there was another scent. But I just love it. It's... It's been absolutely amazing for my skin. I recommend this as well. The next thing that I have been loving is the Cutex Strengthening Nail Polish Remover. For a long time, I was using acetone free, and I just noticed that my nails were brutal constantly, even with the acetone free. Um, and since using this, to be honest, my nails have gotten stronger. And so many people say, once your nails have grown, you can't make them any stronger. But I've noticed it, and I actually kind of love this stuff. Um, it's by Qtex. I do believe you can get it on the mainland, like in America and stuff, but it, this one's made in Australia, so I'm not sure if it's a different brand, um, but I do love, I do love this stuff. Uh, the next stuff I've been loving is a new hand cream. Um, I was just using the Body Shop Body Butter in Vineyard Peach for a long time, and if you guys have used a body butter before, you'll know it's kind of greasy, it leaves that greasy after feeling. Trust me, it hydrates, but it was kind of annoying to have that greasy after feeling. I don't like that feeling. So I decided to try out the Aveeno Skin Relief Moisturizing Lotion with Cooling Action. I didn't realize it had cooling action, to be honest. I just wanted a hand cream. Um, but yeah, to be honest, I wash my hands a lot and I use antibacterial soap, so it dries my cuticles out. Um, but this stuff, I just apply this, you know, a couple times a day, morning and night, pretty much and I've been loving it. It has really kept my cuticles really nice and soft um, and pretty easy to push back as well so I will definitely tell you guys to buy this. Um, it does have like a menthol -y smell though because of the cooling action so I really love to be honest the Aveeno range in total. I had the deep moisture for a long time and I love that as well. Um, so yeah if you're looking for a new hand cream definitely look at the Aveeno range. You can buy it at Priceline. It's pretty inexpensive um, and it works so well. The next thing I've been loving I was actually sent and I'm not being paid to tell you guys about this. I've just genuinely fallen in love with these. These are the new Rimmel London Lasting Finish Foundations. So this is the nude one. Um, this one's a medium coverage. I tried this on first before I tried the other one on and I honestly thought I'd picked up the full coverage one. I was like, holy cow. It's amazing. It's a little bit dark for me, um, but obviously we're coming into summer here in Australia so that's gonna be great once I get a tan, but I love this and to be honest, Foundation wears off around my nose so quickly, and this stuff lasts all day. I was in shock. So I love, I love the nude one, as well as the normal one. This one's the full coverage one. Um, the full coverage has a red top, and a, this one has a white top, and they both have, um, both have pumps, which is great. But this stuff as well, this stuff is that little bit extra coverage, especially for the circles under my eyes. And again, lasts all day. I just love it. I cannot believe. Oh, it has just, it's just come out. So I can't believe I've been living without it. But I am definitely going to repurchase this. This is actually coming, becoming one of my holy grails. So I love it. Now I'm going to talk about some favourite polishes of mine. Uh, just quickly first, I have been posting a lot of swatches on my Instagram. It's just at the polish addiction. I always link it down below as well if you guys want to go and check it out. I've been posting a lot of swatches so you guys can go and follow me there and see them quite regularly. But I wanted to share with you guys some of my holy grails. Things that I haven't just been loving for the last couple months that I will always love I think. Um, the first thing is is my Essie Grow Stronger Base Coat. If you guys have been watching me since pretty much the start this stuff has been my baby. I will forever repurchase this. I cannot explain to you. If you go back and watch my first ever video or one of my first ever videos, you'll see how dead and disgusting and thin my nails were. And then I started this and 
my nails. You've seen them now. They're amazing. So I will admit, I have been loving, loving this for ages and I will forever repurchase. This is like my 10th bottle. I, I go through this so fast and I get mine at Priceline. $16.95, $17.95, something like that. Pretty inexpensive. Um, yeah, just something that I will always buy. Uh, next is my go-to white. It is always going to be the Sally Hansen Extreme Nails on, in white on, sorry. Um, I, I've tried so many other whites and I just keep coming back to this. That's the funny thing. Like, I'm like, oh, I'll try something else and see if I can find something better. And I just come back to it. So this is so inexpensive. It's like $6.95 a bottle. Um, it lasts for ages. It does get a little bit thick once you get to the bottom. So you just need to add a little bit of nail polish thinner. But two coats and you've got a perfect white. Again, I'm going to forever repurchase. The next one is Sesh Feet Dry Fast Top Coat. Again, something I'm always going to buy. I can't believe I lived without this for so long. Like... I ran out of this the other day, um, or the other week, and didn't have this top coat, I had another top coat, and I just couldn't imagine, I couldn't imagine, I couldn't believe how long it took to dry compared to this, like, I'm never going to live without this. I get mine off eBay, I don't think there's a stockist in my, in my country, state, whatever, um, but if you are in Australia and you know where a stockist is, let me know, because I just buy mine off eBay, um, and it's amazing. And this has been a colour I have been wearing non-stop this last two months. Probably longer than two months. Um, it is the Sally Hansen Miracle Gel in B-Girl. It's just a nice greeny, bluey colour. Um, aqua, I guess you can say. Just something, just a colour I just cannot stop putting on my nails. Like, I'll put something else on and I'll be like, no, 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 I have to go back to this. Like, they sent me two bottles and... That is how much I've been wearing it. So, yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. I also wanted to share with you guys a yogurt that I've been loving. Um, it's really great because I'm trying to lose weight. It is the Chobani Greek Yogurt in Coconut. It's got 2% fat. I've already snacked on this one. Um, but it's amazing. I love coconut. If you guys love coconut, you'll love that. It's just got little coconut pieces in it. That coconut taste, I just love it. And I don't like Greek yogurt, but it doesn't even taste like Greek yogurt. Like, I've tried the other flavors, and it has have that, like, bitter aftertaste. That is amazing, and I will never eat it. I wish I wasn't so expensive, though. So, yeah, I have to try it. You really, really have to try it. Ah, uh, some movies I have also been loving. We just watched the four Underworld movies. Amazing. I had to tell you guys about them because I was just... We saw the ending of the fourth one on TV one day, and Nick has already seen them all, but I have it. And I said to him, what's this? What, how do, what's going on? Like, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, well, we'll just get them, and we'll watch them, and then you can understand. So he watched them from the start, and I'm, I'm a big vampire werewolf person, so I kind of loved, I kind of loved them. So if you guys are looking for some movies to watch, there's four Underworld movies, um, and they're really good. But guys, that is everything that I'm going to share with you guys today that's everything I've been loving lately um so yeah if you guys want to see these the favorite videos where I show you a bit of everything um definitely let me know give me a thumbs up and I will keep doing them I'll keep doing them every month hopefully um as I said we are doing vlogmas on my vlog channel so I will be I will be going to the mainland in December from the 16th to the 1st of January so there might not be any videos I'm going to try and pre-film but if you guys want to see what we're getting up to every day go and subscribe to my vlog channel and you'll be able to see vlogmas we'll be vlogging every day in December which is exciting um but yeah if you guys just want to see in general what we've been up to go ahead over there there's some videos that we've put up recently I think that's everything that I wanted to share with you guys today so don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up this video it really helps um and yeah I'll see you all next time I love you all very much Bye. Vlogging, it's a really great camera. Ca blah, 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 blah. It's a really great camera. It's a really great. It's a really great camera. It's a really, it's a really great cra camera. Camera, camera, camera. Mm. It's a really great... Oh, I can't do it! It's a really great camera. It's a really... Love you. I love you too. Bye. Bye, baby. Bye. Bye. Football training. <laughs> that door. Shut up.
That door, that door.